Woohoo! Nostalgia wallpaper. Yesterday, I came across a brand new ransomware sample, which I hadn't seen before. At the moment, I believe it was detected by only seven engines. Right now, I just uploaded it to Vars Total, and as you can see, we have 21 out of 67 AV companies picking it up. It is, however, still undetected by a lot of products, including Microsoft. So you might want to watch out. Now I do have Process Hacker open. Let's go ahead and see what happens when you execute this. By the way, I have a couple of videos coming up involving tests using this file and uh, you might be interested. So make sure you click on the bell icon to get notifications as soon as they're out. Now, as you can see, the ransomware first deletes itself. New process in memory, random name. It's kind of the traditional malware kind of thing. It doesn't have a lot of disguise. It wasn't even a signed file. But as you can see, our data is already encrypted. And it does stay in uh, memory for a while before it actually delivers the ransom note. I'm assuming it just looks all around the system for more files and things like that. As you can see, we have a new executable created in one of our shared folders. So if we were to execute this, it would infect the new computer. It calls itself picture, but again, the guise is pretty weak. Let me just make sure that it is indeed the same ransomware that just made that copy. Let's just upload this file to VT. Yep. It's the same thing. Essentially deletes itself, creates a copy in shared folders, folders over the network in order to infect other systems. And eventually it is going to display the ransom note, but it might just be a long wait. All right, our ransom note is here. There was kind of a long beep before the message was displayed. The recording might have missed that. As you can see, it says all your files have been encrypted. Photos, document, databases, claims to use AES-256. And then there is this website for the ransom payment, which is not an onion domain, which is interesting. Let's try to navigate there. Might have already been taken down. Then we have this email address at Proton Mail again, and it calls itself SAD ransomware. That's kind of funny. So we've seen different kinds of ransom notes. In this case, we see all of it. We see a desktop background change. We see um, HTA, we see text, it just did it all. Meanwhile, if we try to read our documents, hmm, this is what English looks like now. That's totally readable. So it does actually encrypt your data. Pretty nasty ransomware, can spread over the network. I did do a couple of other interesting tests using this file since I had my hands on it very early. Those videos will be coming up shortly after, so check them out. This is Leo, thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.